Hello, everybody. Why, hello. Hey, look, another escape pod. I hope everyone's alive. Actually, no, they might have actually gotten up and been fine no, and gotten fine out. Part. You can't get into this one. Aw. That sucks. Okay. Well, to be fair, it looks up. Oh, hey there. Hello, hey, me, hey, whoa. We're, uh, hey, you're gonna take this. Hey, yeah. Dude, this is mine now. If, uh, Sean was here, he'd be like, get your fucking grubby hands off my shit. Um, what weapons are you most accustomed to in Halo that you prefer using? Rocket Let's say, okay. Uh, shotgun. Mm -hmm. Um. That's it. Pistol. <laughs> I don't know. I just like using them all. Me too. Although if I had to say that if I had to load out with two weapons, I would carry the shotgun. Yep. Always got the shotguns. I'm a shotgun fan in any game. But I really do like what they do with the shotgun and, and Halo. Uh, I'm not a fan of the Nasher too much in Gears of War. Uh, it's 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 a thing. We'll leave it at that. Um, I have mixed feelings about it. It's the best way I can say it. So there's that. And then the second... If I had to have a loadout of two guns, because that's all you can have, I would have the shotgun and... Oh, fuck. We're dead. Oh, no, you're good. You're okay. You're fine. You made it out alive. It would be the shotgun and... You know, the second one's a really hard one because it might have to be the... Um, I used it a lot in the Legendary runs because it works really well. It's the Covenant version of the... It's not the sniper rifle, but it's like their version of like the... The, the single shot one. I can't remember. The Carbine? Yes. Is that the name of the one for the Covenant? It's, it has like a circular end to it. It's the Covenant Carbine and then there's the uh, Beam Rifle. And the Beam Rifle is the one that's shaped like a triangle, right? Yes. Okay, then it's the carbine that I enjoy using. I like the carbine because it's like it has enough kick power to it, and also it um it, you can shoot more of them than with the the laser rifle. Mm -hmm. Um, other than that, I also like the SMG that they introduced, no DST. I really oh, enjoyed yeah, that it. SMG is fucking cool. I like, I loved it. Do they have that in two? The SMG? Mm, sort of. Because I think he's Not holding the same one. Because mm -hmm. the one in ODST is extremely unique. Mm -hmm. But is it ever been in any other game than ODST? I don't think so. I, I really like that SMG. It was really good. Not gonna lie, like, if I had to pick out my favorite weapons, that in, SMG's up there. It may have been in Fallout or Reach, but... It, ODST definitely did their guns right. ODST gets a lot of crap, but then again, it was like... It was a fill-in game between the gaps, I think, really. Mm -hmm. I, I thought it was good. I thought it was good, too. Also, and the characters... And introduced... And introduced uh, Oh, Gunny. What's his name? Yeah, Gunny. Gunny's a great character. I love Gunny. Oh, because he's in four. He's in four. Um, because no, five, five. He's in five. Because he finally took the contract to become a um a Spartan four. A Spartan four. Yep. Because originally he never wanted to take it because he didn't want to leave his team and he didn't yep. want to leave his girl. I can't yep. remember her name off the top of my head. She's cute. True. Very true. Very true. Um, he never wanted to leave them because he's like, I enjoy my team, I like it, I'm just gonna turn you down. And then I think it was like between the events of four and five where they stood like, oh no 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 no, you misunderstand us coming up with this offer again. We're offering everyone a chance to be a Spartan for a Spartan four. And he was like, fuck, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like if everyone's gonna do it, it might as well then. Cause um, it was really sad because Mickey ended up retiring if I remember right because uh. I don't know, do you want me to spoil something for you? I've played ODST, but I don't remember everything. It happens outside of ODST. Oh. Do you want me to say it? I don't care. Um, okay, so, good old spoiler warning for anyone right here. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll give a moment. That's probably enough for a moment, right? Yep, that's enough for a moment. So um, if you're still here, you want to you wanna listen. To you want to listen. So uh, I'll give you another moment in case you're trying to run to your computer if you're in another room just listening to and something. And if we have to, we'll, we'll post on the bottom of the screen where we want, aren't talking about the spoiler. If, if we have to. If we have to. Dep depending on what I feel like editing at the time. Exactly. Um, so um, in the books, it follows the team from ODST. And um, yeah, Rook dies. Oh, yeah. Rookie's dead. So uh, that's why you don't hear or see from him ever again after ODST, except for the books. He's dead. He died. Um, and then once he dies, I believe it's Mick. Um, he goes into a depression that he died, and he retires from the military mm -hmm. for good. Although, with the events after 5, I have a feeling he's not going to have a choice coming back. But yeah, he's straight up just... Um, he retires, so that's why Mick's not around, and that's why Rook isn't anywhere. But I believe in 5, you also see Romeo. Okay. 
like Romeo Lama, he was the sniper of the group. Oh. The the reluctant sniper because he picked up a sniper rifle. He was like, I hate using this. But they were the only one they gave the sniper rifle to, so he was the default sniper of the group. That's funny. So um, uh, Rook, so Rook is dead. Mickey retired, and I believe all the others are still around, and they become Spartan Force. Which is good because, like, it says it in th- Reach. In Reach, they say it because you can have him in Firefight. Okay. Um, his description is, truly, if he was any better, he would have been a Spartan. Because so, they consider Mick to be, not Mick, they consider they consider Gunny to be, like, he's an ODST, but he's, like, that one level below becoming and being a fully-fledged, amazing Spartan. Which is what happens in 5. Yeah. He finally becomes a Spartan 4, which is like... To be fair, Mick is really... Not Mick. God, never mind Mick. Gunny. Gunny is really good at what he does. Yeah. He was on and survived Reach. He survived the Covenant War. Um, he continued his career after that. He got his girl, which was also his superior. Yep. And he became a Spartan 4 and is still around to this day. Correct. Like, Gunny's done a lot of shit. You want to know something else that he is? Huh. Nathan Fillion. Did he become Nathan Fillion, or was he already Nathan Fillion? So, Nathan Fillion, Fillion is yep. his voice actor. Was he already the voice actor in ODST and everything? Really? Guess who He even Nathan... looks like him now that I think about it. Guess who Nathan Fillion uh, voices. Uh, who else he voices? Um, In he's Halo? A... Nope. Just in general? He's in the technical universe of Halo. Oh, then is he in... Does he be in Destiny then? in destiny because it's technically in the same universe i think yep what character is he though um he's not the robot yes he is oh he's that robot he's Cade six. Oh, i haven't played that De- that's from destiny 2 right yeah, that's in destiny 1 too the little ball nope that's that's ghost that's somebody else wasn't ghost played by um he peter dinklage originally played by one person and then he was uh changed by somebody else and i don't think it was peter dinklage okay because i heard a lot of things about peter dinklage being a little robot in destiny or something i don't know something about that Anyway, I have to look into that. Nathan Fillion's done a lot more voice acting work too. Oh yeah. Do people Which, still want him to pay, be in Firefly again? Oh god. I've yes. never watched Firefly. It was great. I enjoyed it. Have uh, you watched Serenity? Nope. So Serenity is just the end of that, essentially. So they actually did finish Firefly then. Yeah. Technically. Technically. Okay. I've never. It. What's it about? Uh, just some ca- uh, space cowboys, essentially. Really. They're smugglers, yeah. And uh, one of the. Um, people is nice a, shot by the way I know <laughs> um, yeah take a, the credit that easy is a uh, super soldier that was accidentally made sort mm-hmm. of um, and they they kind of go through and figure stuff about her and whilst they're also doing missions on the top of it really yeah and when you see Nathan or when you see Firefly the, the captain is essentially Han Solo Fuck yeah. So, yeah. Won't lie, Han Solo was my original character from the original trilogy. He, he was, like, straight up. Like, Han Solo was just like, I'm a fucking smuggler. When I did Knights of the Old Republic, the MMO for for um, uh, Star Wars, yep. I straight up went fucking smuggler class. Yeah. No question. Oh, God. Especially since it's just like, well, they're not really good, but they're not really evil. They're pretty much just out to do their own thing. I'm like, fuck Yes! Han Solo in this bitch. Because the I don't like the mindset that Jedis have. Oh god, no. No, I don't they're, they're, they're literal space monks wielding space katanas. Yep. I hate it. So they're, The mindset. That's why with Knights of the Royal Republic, the original game, which I have over there, yep. um, you're pretty much a character, and I'm not going to spoil anything about it, but you're pretty much like a character you start off with and you become a Jedi. Yep. You're not like raised from birth as a youngling to become this and have this mentality. Yep. You're a Jedi, but you're doing what you want as a Jedi. But spoilers. Spoilers, of course. He uh, already went through that phase. He did. That's why he was so attuned to doing things. Yep. And it was funny how no one, at, no one ever, except for very few people, but no one put one and one together and got like, oh yeah, this guy looks familiar. Well, that's the thing. He was wearing a mask the whole time. True. But, like, someone should have sensed, like, I sense something about this dude. Because yeah. you come across other Jedis. Yep. And also, he makes an appearance in the MMO. Yeah. 
As Redmond too, right? Yeah, I believe he's evil. But I, I think you also kill him, which is like, what the fuck, guys? I just well, spent a whole game with him. Revan is supposed to be the only Grey Jedi of that era. Yes. Grey Jedi. That's like yes. the in-between, right? That's the in-between. That's the, I will do whatever I must to protect the Force. Yes. So he's not good or evil, right? Okay. God damn, we should do a Star Wars game. I have the Force Unleashed. Uh, we can do the new one when it comes out. Which one is it? Oh! Oh! That one! Uh-huh. Oh, it looks beautiful. It does look beautiful. We really need good Star Wars games again. Good Star Wars well, games. Well, we'll find out if it's good or not. I think it will be. As long as a certain company I'm thinking of keeps their hands out of things. EA. Yes. If they I'm not even gonna... Oh, damn it. I'm not even gonna shy away from saying their name. Just fucking EA. I know, I fucking hate EA. Everyone already knows I have an issue with EA. With what they've done to the game franchises I love, I, oh, I have a very huge gripe with EA. They did with Dragon Age. Um, Dragon Age, the newest one they did. It's not bad. Inquisition? Yes, it's oh. not bad. Inquisition's good, but it's just like the the side stuff they were do they've been doing behind the scenes with it. I'm not a fan of. Yeah. What they did with Mass Effect, I'm really fucking not a fan of. Oh god, yeah. Oh god, everyone's still angry about that. Fuck yeah. And they put the they put the franchise on hold. Uh huh. It's it's not over, but we're definitely not doing anything with it a while. I fucking hate you, EA. Because Andromeda should have been really good. And yet they fucking... They even touched upon the events of the original trilogy and touched upon why it's away, well, what's going on. What pissed me off. And there's even an Easter egg of, of the original franchise. And it's like, you guys fucking set it up so well and you fucked it. Oh my god. It just and makes me angry. You know what makes me even more angry? What? Anthem. <laughs> they fucked that one too. Yeah, they did. They did not. For a company that has as much money as it does, they are stupid. Did you hear about the loot box fiasco? For what? For uh, EA. With, uh, you know, the government wants to end loot boxing because, like, that's a form of government that should be illegal yeah. in what you're doing. And EA outright came out and defended the loot box, loot box they system. They openly said, well, it's not gambling. It's just a fun little way of people getting a randomized gift. And it's like, oh my god, that's the worst fucking answer you can give. They openly stated that in front of them. Yeah. And everyone's looking at them like, are you fucking kidding? Are you that stupid? That's the reason it's broken. Randomizing something that children have the ability of getting their hands on that they pay for. And if they don't get what they want, they'll do it again. Yeah. Like, oh, oh, shit. they're really tearing you up. But it's like, are you are you people fucking kidding me? You're, you're literally playing to the most cheapest, not even, well, cheapest, I say that in quotations, but you're playing to the most downright insulting thing you can possibly do to someone who's buying your product of not even giving them what they want. Yep. And I'm going back to Gears of War right now. Well, I'm touching on it for the first time in this one, but like, Gears of War had a loot box system, which was openly argued and openly against, everyone was against. But, guess what? People, even, the coalition came out and said, like, we're not going to do that anymore. You know, if you want something, you're going to outright pay for it, or it's going to be available to you in the game. Yeah. It's okay. like, we're not going to force you to pay Damn. for stuff. We're not going to. It's like, if you want something, you're either going to pay for it, or it's just going to be available. That's how it's going to go. You're not going to sit there and have to hopefully pay for something you want. And, you know, like, randomize if you're going to get it or not. You're just going to get it. If you pay for it, it's yours. Don't worry about it. And everyone was extremely happy because, like, yes, that's how it should be. You are giving us what we want. You're not trying to play the randomized game. God, you're really killing it with the sniper. Good job. I only have a bullet left. Can you make it count? You did make it count! Now we're gonna, that was nice. We're going to do some rapid fire. Oh, hells yeah. But that's my and gripe on EA. We're going to do it in old graphics. We're going OG here. Because watch this shit. But, but that's my gripe with EA. That's all I have to say about it. If you want me to make an entire video of why I hate EA, I mean, I can do that too. Tell it in the comments, dude. Put it in the comments if you want me to just hate EA for a video. I can easily do that. I'll make it a vlog. Screw it. Just, I'll make it a 20 minute video of just, EA really just blows. I hate them. What about some of the fine games that you love? Oh yeah. You know, when the developers and everything have their hands in it. When uh, EA has their hands in things, not a fan. Really hate it when EA has their hands in things. Really not a big fan at all. Like, I could, like, Dra the original Dragon Age, I believe, was also EA. Yeah. Like, that was, it's my favorite game of all time, and EA has their fucking, well, at the time, it was bad, but they didn't have their hands in things that badly back then. 
They were still fucking things up, but I don't think they expected, like, Dragon Age to be kicking off and being a huge franchise. Which it still isn't a giant franchise, but, you know, it's it's large enough you 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 people, like, turn their head and, like, acknowledge that Dragon Age is a thing. Yeah. And the next Dragon Age is coming out soon, too. Like, within, like, the next couple of years, it's gonna be here. Okay, so they, they are working on Dragon They are working on Dragon Age. Okay. Um, I re without Ma with Mass Effect on the back burner, I'm really gonna enjoy seeing what the fuck's gonna come after Mass Effect. Yeah. I mean, Dragon well, they Age. they tried, they tried to do that with Anthem, well... And look what they did. And Anthem's in the same universe as fucking Titanfall, apparently. No. Oh, they did state it isn't? I don't Because a lot of people there's went no through... Way it is. Because a lot of people went Apex through and stated... Apex is. Apex. Anthem is not. Oh, oh, my bad. I'm thinking the wrong. You're right. You're right. I'm thinking backwards. Anthem, Apex is in the same. Anthem is that mecha game. Yes. Me mecha game, loosely mecha, because it, it it's it's basically just heavy armor. Yeah. And um, then a and then Apex is in the same universe as Titanfall. It is in the same universe as Titanfall. Can you, can it you is get... owned by EA. Can you... uh, and it fuck. is amazingly doing well. Yeah, and EA it fucking has their hands on it. Yep. At least the first two Titanfall games were deep. Well, the first one didn't really have too much to it. The second nope. Titanfall had some stuff to it. Oh, yeah. Had a lot, a lot of people like the second Titanfall. I haven't played the second Titanfall yet. It's fun. I really should get back into it. We could probably play the first Titanfall even. The first one's enjoyable. There's yeah, not that much to do in it. It's mostly multiplayer. Though. And also, all their multiplayer was free. All yeah. of it. Yep. All their maps and everything they released to were completely free. Yep. I fucking loved that. Which when a game releases, too, it was that way too. When a game releases free shit, it's like they they're understanding their fan base and what they want, and they're giving people what they want. Mm -hmm. Granted, you don't need to turn a profit every single thing and have the greatest thing in the world. You're making money. You're making money. You can give up free shit now and then. Yeah. <laughs> then again, I'm going to support their products if they give me free shit. You know, it's not going to be like, oh, I got this, I finished it, I'm not playing this game again for a while. I'm going to support people with free crap. Yeah. I'm going oh, to. Yeah. You know, Deadpool, the game, it was $10 cheaper when they released it because they outright came out and said, hey, this isn't that long and it's not the greatest game you're ever going to play. It's $10 cheaper. I respect that. They understand what their product is worth and they're not going to cheat you out of your money. Exactly. I 100% respect that. And we should call it here since I've been going on a rant about EA. That's Jesus. Okay. That's how a lot of these episodes go on too long with. Just <laughs> EA rants. EA rants or finding random shit. <laughs> exactly. So, when we come back. We're going to continue our way and snipe some more foos. Hell yes. Yeah! Goodbye.